What is up people on the internet? I hope you're having an amazing day and wait a minute, something seems quite different here. Oh my god, I'm animated, how cool is this? I mean, just even look at my hands, they're so 2D and flat and oh my god, they even got the little mark I have on my left hand. This is so cool. But yes guys, I have decided to take animation storytelling in stride as this has been something I've always wanted to do. I think some of my stories that I really want to tell you guys would be told so much better in this kind of art form rather than me standing in front of a camera and self-teaching myself this kind of process has been really interesting. I was thinking to myself how amazing it would have been when I was back in school if some of my art classes would have actually taught us the whole process of animation rather than teaching us how to draw a tree or looking at some artist's work and then just replicating their artwork as that was a lot of my art classes back in school. I was thinking why do they never teach us this and I was just thinking the reason why I think they never went into any of these kind of areas was because my art teachers were rubbish. They had kind of the most horrible view of teaching students and just really horrible people overall. Here is just a prime example why my art teachers were rubbish. At the age of 15, a lot of my art classes had been doing a lot of research on Barbara Hempworth, who was a sculptress who lived and created majority of her artwork in St Ives, Cornwall. So my teachers thought it would be a good idea to go there for a field trip. This was a pretty cool field trip as St Ives is an amazing place as the beaches there are actually clear blue sea which for England is pretty rare as majority of our coast kind of seaside parts is pretty much a dark green murky water so to actually have blue clear water in England is just an amazing sight to see. Also the town's landscape in St Ives reminds me a lot of how a lot of animes try to create an old English town vibe in their shows so overall Cornwall is a really cool place to check out if you ever come to England. But overall, the trip was really good as Barbara Hensworth's structures were amazing to see in first person. And there was also an art museum there that had an amazing gallery that was covered in balloons, which was even cooler as you was allowed to wander through. Actually, a little side note here, my first ever Facebook profile picture was me inside this balloon art gallery but yeah overall the trip was amazing until we got to the end of the field trip this is where it became a complete and utter disaster we were all in a car park ready to go home all of us jump into the van ready to go home the teachers say to us are we all here at 15 all of these kids are not really paying attention and they just say yes we are all here and then they reply Great, we can trust a couple of 15 year olds not really paying attention. You know, who needs to do head counts or roll call like responsible adults who have been left in charge of these children's welfare? Anyway, let's go home! Well, you know, they may have not said that exactly word for word, but you guys may be getting the idea of what's going to happen. The van sets off, we're leaving the car park, then all of a sudden I hear screaming and shouting and I look out the back window as, you know, I was one of those cool kids who sat at the back of the bus. I feel like just me making a whole point out of this just shows how uncool I really was. But anyway, I turn around, look out the back of the window, and lo and behold, I see Sam, who's one of my fellow students. I see that Sam is full throttling it to the bus. He's running and shouting and screaming to the top of his lungs, shouting out for us to wait and for us to stop the bus. So all of us at the back are shouting to the teachers that you need to stop this bus now as we've left Sam behind. All of a sudden the bus screeched to a stop. Sam jumps on the bus. He's looking out of breath and also at the same time he's looking pretty annoyed with the teachers for what they did to Sam. And the teachers are also kind of looking at Sam saying where were you? Why weren't you on the bus when we asked if everyone was here? And the reason why he wasn't on the bus is because the 
parking lot we were in had a public bathroom so Sam was in the bathroom when they were checking if we were all here and they didn't even realize he was gone or missing and we almost left him behind. Hell if he was in the bathroom for a little bit longer he would have been left in St Ives but here's the really funny thing looking back on it now as the school I went to our whole school year was pretty small there was only 20 kids in my whole school year and only 12 of us went on this field trip. 12 people went on this field trip out of 20. And how hard is it just to count to 12? Or even just do a roll call? Can you imagine if Sam was in the bathroom just a little bit longer and we weren't still in the car park? We could have been halfway down the motorway before we realised that we left Sam in St Ives. Or hell, we could have even been back at school before we realised that we left Sam at St Ives. And here's the thing I haven't even told you guys. From my school to St. Ives, it's about a four hour journey. So yeah, the teachers could have been in a lot of hot water for this. And they're just lucky that he got out of the bathroom before we left the car park. As if he was just a little bit later, there could have been a whole lot of chaos going over them. But there is just one reason why my art teachers were rubbish. And I haven't even told you guys the worst story about them. As there are a lot more... I will be telling in the future but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you had any rubbish teachers at school and if you're liking this new format of storytelling as i have found this video really fun to make and it's also been really rewarding to make it in this format and it's even been nice to just get some things off my chest of how bad some of my teachers were in school but anyway guys i hope you are having a amazing day i hope you enjoy the rest of your day just remember guys keep being awesome keep being amazing and i'll see you guys next time bye